Performance tested and race proven, when it comes to engine parts, go with the pro. Engine Pro. Hello, my name is Dave Sutton from Engine Pro. In a previous video, we talked about mild racing applications and how Engine Pro's 1010 series pushrod is a one piece design and superior to most standard pushrods in the market. Now, let's talk about the good stuff. If you're running a serious performance engine with over 400 pounds spring pressure at the seat, an aggressive cam profile, including solid roller cam, chances are you're running our 4130 premium series pushrods. These pushrods are our biggest sellers. Made right here in the USA, these pushrods are made from 4130 chromoly tubing. They're 83 thousandths of an inch thick, carbon nitrite treated to 60 to 62 Rockwell C scale. These pushrods are made to be used with guide plates. Each end is machined to 156 thousandths of an inch radius. The series of our Engine Pro offering is available in two diameters, 5 16 and 3 8 inch. The 5 16 diameter are rated to 700 pounds open spring pressure. The 3 8 diameter are good to 850 pounds open pressure. Sizes are available in 50 thousandths of an inch increments, so we have the push rod that is perfect length for whatever you're working on. There's a couple of things we're real proud of in our push rods and things you should be aware of when selecting a push rod. First is consistency of length. Our manufacturing allows us to keep our push rods within five thousandths of an inch. You wouldn't want a camshaft that varied 25 thousandths cylinder to cylinder. You certainly wouldn't use valves that stem length varied by 25 thousandths. And you also wouldn't set your valve lash different by 25 thousandths. Why would you accept this in a push rod? Second is consistency of material at the end of the push rod. If you look close at our push rods at the end where they're machined and formed into a radius, you would find that to measure the push rods are the same thickness at any point. This is not easy to do and a weak point in lower quality push rods. Now let's talk about an interesting option available on our 4130 series push rods. This is an approach to controlling too much oil being pumped up to the top end valve cover area at high RPM. The common solution is to use oil restrictors in the block. But just like those prescription drug commercials, there are side effects to block oil restrictors. One biggie is you can't use them with hydraulic lifters. They don't flow enough oil to keep them operating correctly. Also, as RPMs have gone up and spring pressures increased, the weak link has proven to be the lifter. And restricting oil to the lifter, even a solid roller, is no longer advised or recommended by the lifter manufacturer. So we have an approach that we think is the best solution for engines that oil through the push rod. Our R series, 4130 series push rods feature a 40 thousandths of an inch hole at the rocker side that keeps full oil flow to the vulnerable lifters while limiting what gets to the top of the head. Available in 5 16 and 3 8 inch diameter. In our next video, we'll introduce you to our highest end performing push rod, the Nitro Black series. When you're looking for performance engine parts, go with the pro, Engine Pro. Find us online at enginepro.com.